So, you're back from the future and you want to tell me about the new iPhone 27 S Max Z. Well, that's pretty sweet. Hey guys, we're back to Spike. I'm Kai and today we're back once again taking a look at how to save a, a material in Blender as an image to kind of export it as an image. And I just recently had to figure out how to do this and go through a lot of steps for it. So today, we're here, we're taking a look at how to do it. So as you can see, I have a material here and it's super, super basic. Obviously it's just a noise texture, a color ramp texture and a principal BSDF shader. Um, now, obviously this is as basic as it could possibly get, which is gonna be good because if you have a node that is EV specific, it this is probably not gonna work for you because um, we have to switch over cycles very shortly in a very short amount of time, very temporarily to bake the image because unfortunately you cannot bake materials in EV as of right now. Hopefully that gets fixed and implemented in the very near future. But as of right now, you cannot do that. So, um, really super easy material. Obviously next thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and go down to the texture tab, hit new and go ahead and call this, um, I don't know, we're going to call it, uh, John. Why not? Because it looks like a John. Hit OK. And now you can see we have um, a material called John. Well, a texture called John. Excuse me. So it, now if you want to make this a, a, the image a little bigger, let's go ahead and just change this from... Tw uh, tw uh, let's go 2048. Let's just double it. So this will be like a 2K resolution, which would be much higher quality than uh, 1024, obviously. So now, next after that, only thing we need to do is go ahead and hit Shift A over here in our shader editor, which of course you just um, put your cursor in the top left or bottom left hand side of the screen, click and drag and split your window into two. While we have this one window open, we might as well go ahead and change this to the UV image editor. There we go. Now up here in the shader editor, hit shift A, search for an image, image, if I could type, an image texture, boom, put that right there. We don't have to hook it up in anything. I, it's just so we can see what's going on here. Let's go ahead and uh, open this image up. We're going to open up uh, John. There we go. And uh, now that we have John opened up, we can go ahead and open John down here as well. There we go. Look at him. Looking all nice and good. But it's solid black. Why is that? Because we haven't done anything yet. So let's go ahead. Go over here to the cube. Uh, hit tab to open this up. Hit U. And then you can either unwrap or smart UV project, which I'm going to do the smart UV project. And then it'll like show up like this, which is which is why it looks so good and nice and organized. Um, there we go. So that's how you that's how you do that. Now, all of these um, squares and boxes will be uh, the, the faces of all of these different edges of the uh, cube here. So hit tab to go back out of edit mode. Once again, hit tab to go out of edit mode and then go up here to the, the main tab and change the render engine from EV to cycles. Now, this is where if you have a um, EV specific um uh node it's gonna not work it's gonna break it a little bit but let's go ahead and if it's a super simple material like this it'll be completely fine but let's go ahead and let's go ahead and uh scroll on down here to bake you can see this little category bake right here boom check that out um, if we were in eevee this would obviously disappear and it would not be there anymore so it's gone now let's go ahead and go back to cycles and now the only thing we need to do is mean make sure this says diffuse uh diffuse because by default it will be on combined so make sure this says diffuse right there go ahead and hit bake and you can see down here at the bottom you can see that the uh, zero percent will be counting up and this will take a good bit of time especially depending on how detailed your material is um so they go ahead and wait for this and i shall be back once it is done there we go as you can see it is uh it's completed itself now the reason you see some some lighting uh, differences here is because when you bake something, it takes the light, the shadows, and everything from the scene. And as you can see, because we're in rendered viewport shading up, up at the top here, you can see it is taking all of the light. Now, because these two sides are the brightest, it's showing these two as the brightest, and then everything else is in darkness. Now, if you don't want this, you can go down here and go to uh, the, bake, the bake section again, um, and... It, and you can make sure that you don't add these things to the render. So down here you can see it says uh, contributions. And what we can do here is we can check off direct, indirect, and color. So let's go ahead and check off um, direct and indirect. So essentially what this is, it'll take away all the lighting. So if we bake this again, you can see that it will completely get rid of all the dark spots, all of the bright spots, and it'll leave exactly the way the material looks by itself. So let's go ahead and wait for this to render, and then I'll be right back.
and there we go as you can see the material is completely rendered it does not have shading anywhere it doesn't have shadow anywhere and it is looking perfectly good the way that it is now this obviously works the best for simplistic shapes but it does work for complex shapes as well um let's go ahead and uh it finishes up by going ahead and saving the image so go ahead go to image right here and then just hit save as and then it'll open up a little dialog and save it wherever you want on your on your pc and you're good to go so yes, I hope, ladies and gentlemen, you learned something new today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This was something that very much needed to be made because I was dealing with this earlier. I will um, I will see you guys and girls in the next tutorial. Hope you enjoyed Like I said, um, subscribe if you're not already. Really appreciate all the love and support you guys show in the videos. I'll see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.